One of the most important tools you can have whenever you go fishing is a catapult. There's lots of different ones in the market and choosing the right one for the job is vital because the more in control you are of your feeding, the more accurate you're going to be and the more you're going to catch. first one I'll talk to you about is our light version. This catapult for me caters for all my pole fishing, whether it's from squats and pinkies on a canal, so the smallest sort of bait that you're really going to get, moving up to maggots and casters on a river or still water, and even pellets, four, six or eight mils when you're fishing for big carp in the summer. This catapult really does it all for all my pole fishing. You'll also notice one feature that's present throughout the whole of the range of the Guru catapults is the fact that you can adjust the length of the elastic without having to cut it. So when you first get the catapult, adjust it so it suits you and suits your style and stance when you're sitting at your peg. But then if the conditions change throughout the day and you want the elastic a bit tighter or a bit looser, you can adjust it again. So it helps prolong the life of the catapult because you're not cutting the elastic. So it gives you that versatility in your fishing and allows you to be dead accurate. Next up is the original Guru catapult. I term this is the medium one in the range. It's great for fishing just beyond your pole line on that sort of waggler line on a lot of waters or a bob. It suits all manner of baits, this pouch, anything from maggots all the way up to big pellets. And another thing I like to have this on my side tray for is when I'm fishing the pole in the summer and I want to turf in a load of bait quick, this pouch is bigger than the one on a light catapult so you can get more bait in your swim really quickly on those red letter days. Laughing up in the range is the big boy of the range. It's the incredible pulp. This is a real powerful tool, so you need to use it correctly. We'll go through that in a minute. Starting with the elastic, it's real powerful elastic, so it's perfect for getting baits out on that waggler come bomb line, 20, 30, or even 40 meters out if the wind's right. The shape of the pouch allows you to use all manner of size baits, all the way up to sort of 11 mil pellets if you need to. This is a solid pouch. We found that best with this uh, strength of elastic for grouping your bait nice and tightly, whether it's two or three pellets, pouch of maggots, or a pouch full of big pellets. This pouch allows you to get them all out there into your swim as accurate as you want to be. Another nice use of this catapult is when you're fishing on a big river like the Trent. I know a lot of lads up that way use this catapult for getting baits like maggot and hemp out into the middle of the river where you previously couldn't reach with a different catapult. And also I've used it myself on water such as Porth Reservoir, down in Cornwall for firing out. Little balls of ground bait, but and because the pouch is a hard one that doesn't collapse too much when you pull it back, it doesn't squash the ball of ground bait, it allows you to get it out into your swim intact. So bigger baits at range, this is the catapult to use. With the incredible pulp being a real powerful bit of kit, you need to use it right, otherwise the pouch is going to fly back and whack you on the fist, which no one wants, that's for sure. So the best way I've found to go about it is put it back like you normally do with any other catapult, but when you let go, the hand that you're holding the frame with, sort of let the momentum carry on and just flick it out the way. Then your hand's out the way, the pouch, and it's not going to whack you. There's nothing more annoying than when you go to pick up your catapult and the elastic's all tangled up from the last time we fired it out. So what we've done to prevent this on our catapults at Guru is allowed the elastic to swivel down the bottom where it connects to the pouch, so it's stopping the elastic twisting up. And also, the elastic actually exits the frame at the top of the catapult rather than the side, so you don't even have to look at which way to put it back. You can pull it back from either side. Nice little time saver, and it also prevents tangling. Whilst we've done everything we can to make the whole product of the catapult as durable as possible, the nature of the beast is that some of the parts do wear out. So what we've done is for each catapult, we produce two spare part packs. There's a pouch and the elastics for each catapult. They're ever so easy and quick to fix to the existing frame. So for the price of one little spare part pack, you've got a whole new catapult that saves you money in the long run. So there you go, that's the three catapults I take with me whenever I go fishing. They've all got different strengths of elastic, they've all got different pouches, they all do a certain job depending on what bait I'm using and what distance I'm fishing at. 
So these three catapults cover me for all of my fish.